so luckily enough, you got to meet all your childhood heroes. I mean, you didn't meet Lon Chaney Sr. pretty much, but everybody else, Karloff, Lugosi, Laurie, Vincent Price, you were good pals with? Yes, uh, I was uh, in Bela Lugosi's company uh, for three years. I was with him just uh, two weeks before he died. We had no intimation whatsoever that in 14 days he'd be on his deathbed. It was at the premiere of his film, Black Sleep. And uh, the dear man had been drying out from uh, from drugs. I always hasten to point out that he, he didn't do it just for kicks, but he needed it medicinally for terrible sciatic pains he had. And uh, was up on the uh, mezzanine with him, and we were coming down, and Bela was was very proud. He would not be seen in public wearing glasses, so he was as blind as the proverbial bat. But uh, I and another fan of his on the other side of him, we could see that down there in the lobby, they were all set up to interview him. And so we got to the bottom of the stairs, and he said, boys, point me in the right direction. <laughs> so we got him squared around, and it was just wonderful to behold. Uh, he Practically, it looked like a concentration camp case at the end of the year. But the world wanted him one more time, and it seemed like before your very eyes that he straightened up and filled out and became the tall, proud figure of Count Dracula as he strode toward the waiting interviewers. By the way, this is Bela Lugosi's Dracula ring.